Hey, in time watchman, I'm back. And when I say, you know, about putting all this stuff up, I've been I've been trying to screen this for, for since two thousand and one, but on YouTube since about July, middle of July, somewhere around and I don't know when I joined, but anyway. Uh having said that, I've already been using stuff. Certain things and uh because I've had people call me, I won't call no name. Hey, uh, I'm out of this. Have you got any of that? I need to uh, see if I can uh, get this out to some people. Well, yes, sir. There are certain things I'm already taking and distributing that people can sell and get it to other people. Bango. Because they're running out and they can't get it on shelves. It's already taking place. I've already seen people knocking on my door. Wanting to hand out this. Can we clean your house? Can we get snow off your roof or different things like that? Can we do this? Can we do that? Already seen it happening. Already seen. I'm already seeing it. This is. It's as if. I mean, and I'm not no better than anybody. But it's as if God is showing me. Okay, here's how it's going to come, but multiply it. Here's how it's going to be, but multiply it. And it's like, man, I'm like, golly bum. So having said that, have survival in mind. You won't regret it. Have survival in the pantry. You won't regret it. Have survival in your uh, mines of heritage. No, mine's fortress. I got uh, had a heritage. Mine's fortress safe made in Grace, Idaho. Ain't that amazing? Grace is on the front of the uh, safe, and that's what I'm praying for, the grace of God, that I won't have to use anything that's in that safe. But if I do have to use it, I got it. But having said that, you know, uh, think about what end time's telling you. Get your survival stuff up. I may post some of them videos that, that had the the stuff out there about the vitamins and all, because I, I believe that's critical too, you know, because they're already outlawing vitamins in other nations, and you better get you a stock up of them. You better get you a stock up vitamin C, vitamin D, all those different vitamins. Calcium, magnesium, because uh, all this, this stuff we're eating, we're not getting the right amount of calcium and magnesium, especially in that homogenized milk. Of course, we do have a source, and I bought a cow, and I get it off the tit. But uh, having said that, uh, there's just so many different things that we need to be thinking of, y'all, that we need to be doing before it's too late. Because when it's too late, it's too late. If you're not able to go to the store, it's going to be too late then. Look, I, I heard the other day Kentucky's still without electricity. You see what I'm getting at? You, you know, you never know the scenario or the, or, the, or the wildfire that might break out. And when I use that... You, some of you in California and New Mexico and Montana and different, you know what it means about a wildfire. It strikes out of nowhere. You know, the signs are there. Everything's drying up. You're having a drought and all that. Then you get this thunderstorm comes along. Bam. Or it could be some fruitcake of an arsonist that starts it. And I won't relate that to our government of how they're purposefully starting wildfires, but they are. I won't get into that right now. I don't have time for that because my time's limited today. I am begging you. I am begging you again, people, get you a supply of food and water and ammo and your weapons that you need. Get you the vitamins. Get you the emergency survival kits. Get you the different ways to cook your stuff. Whether it, you, Propane, dude. Propane, a wood stove. You cook on top of wood. I mean, there. I don't know where you live or your situation, but you do. And I knew that the majority of the American people that even think about survival have way more intelligence than I do. You just need to use it for your situation as to where you live, what climate you live in. Now, I'm going to run this by you and put this into the survival recap, but this is something new. Now, if you live within a 30-mile radius of a military installation... If you can roll, roll. Get 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 outside of that 30-mile perimeter. Because when this stuff comes, they're going to secure the perimeter of their bases. And, and, and when they secure that perimeter, those that are inside that perimeter are pretty much prisoners. Or even forced to leave. I'm not trying to scare nobody. I'm telling you that that's a fact, Jack. I'm telling you that people down there on the border in Texas and all different places. Matter of fact, they 
I got a caught a glimpse of something today about they're they're marching on the bridges and protesting the army being down there, uh, 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 you know, right there on the border. So we'll see. We'll see just how right and how wrong I am. Okay, when it all comes clean on wash day, let's just see. But you think about it. You think about these survival items, and there are many things I can add to it. But for the sake of time, I'm just doing a recap. But you think about it. If it collapses in California sooner than later, and it is going to collapse, there will be a collapse. It's coming. Okay? I don't care how much money uh, uh, Geithner Prince and, 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 and Bernanke and, and, and uh, Hussein Obama, it ain't going to save them. And it ain't going to save this nation. It ain't going to happen. It just ain't. It just. It just ain't gonna happen. Get your food. When the store shelves are empty, you'll be prepared. Keep your vehicles full of fuel. I got a bag packed. Me and my kids and my wife have bags packed right now. I hope and pray to God we ain't got to flee or get out of Dodge. But if we do, you know what? Thirty minutes, I'm gone. Look at your situation. Think about getting you a bag up for essentials in case you had to leave, in case you just had to go, even for just a short period of time. Think about it. Because all these things are things that are in the realm of possibility that are in your short-term future. Mine too. Do not, do not be a statistic or become a casualty when you could have did something about it. Think about what OEN Time's telling you. Like I said, I ain't have much time today. I've had a lot going on, a lot taking place around me and with my family. But having said that, I should not neglect the needs and the calling, the needs of the people that have reached out to me and out of them, nor the calling that God's put on me. That don't give me any excuse to neglect it. So that's why I'm trying to take the time to do a, a quick overview of survival items and uh, let you know that there, uh, uh, there's a lot more coming in the not-so-distant future. But just bear with me, because I had a lot of people want to know if I was okay because they hadn't heard from me lately in a few days. And I just, like I said, I just had a lot going on. A lot going on. But having said that, I'm neither turning to the left nor to the right. My focus is straight. My focus is clear. And if I have to do some shifting and, and some blocking and some non-commenting to keep this message out there, I will do it. And they can just make all the videos they want to, calling me a nutcase, Illuminati, and everything else, and a hypocrite and don't know God. Let them make it. Let them make it. Let them make it. Because I know the scriptures that, that talk about that too. But having said that, get your survival stuff while there's still time. Because it's soon to be too late. These wildfire scenarios are going to take place. There's going to be some things take place in major cities that are going to be, they're going to be pretty rough. I'll put it like that without going into any detail. So I suggest that you get ready and you fasten your seatbelts because it's coming. This is End Time Watchman. May God bless you and keep you until we meet again. And remember what I said. I spent an hour talking to a guy today. I can have all the guns, food, and everything I want, but if I ain't got God in my heart, if I ain't accepted Jesus as my Savior, everything I got and prepared for is in vain. So you can take that or leave it. This is end time. I'll see you. Hey, y'all don't forget to pray for my family, especially my sister. God bless you.